Why not? I don't know. Oh! What? I'm re-recording over what we just did our test recording, but it's okay. We don't need it. It's fine. Hello, everybody! We're live! <laughs> We're back. Um, did you miss us? Not. It's only been a week. Did you enjoy our last week's podcast? Yeah. Did you listen all the way to the end? Hopefully. Do you remember what happened at the end? No. If you didn't listen till the end, you missed out. I don't even remember what happened. <laughs> Hit it, Evie. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Mom. So. So. Can I ask you something? Absolutely you can. You came with content. Not really, but I want to know what, what was the start of this podcast thing and why are we doing it and what's the reason behind it? Is there a reason why we're doing this? A bonding experience, a mother-daughter bonding experience. It's secretly so that I can know more about you because I don't know anything about you and we don't just sit down and have conversations because you're always playing Candy Crush. And so far, have you found anything out about me? No, because you won't say anything. All I found out is that today you wanted to be a hairstylist and travel around the world with scissors in your pocket. That's right. Cutting hair. Yeah. And if you did that, I would not be here. The light of your life, the joy of your universe I would not, not be, here, be either. here. I wonder where I would have been. And I don't know how to feel for you. I don't know whether to feel sad for you. Like, oh, mom, like you should have done that. You should have chased your dreams. Or to feel happy that people intervened in your goals. Yeah. Now I'm pretty know, happy. Now you know why I am a little pushy and, <laughs> and, and uh, supportive of what you guys do. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> and I like to push you in the direction that you want to go into versus say no, don't go, don't move. What are you going to do? But Just you get could a job have stopped a future government. child. Could have stopped a future child. Could have. I don't know. Anyways, it's all good. Are you sure? Are you going to have? <laughs> I don't know a about that. Midlife crisis, like Nick said. <laughs> Mom, mid- are you going through a midlife crisis? Why did he I go, say did that? Did I buy a sports car? He Wait. goes, no. Why did he say that though? Because I was listening to, um, what do I listen to music on? Spotify. Yeah. And I listen to New Music Daily or New mm-hmm. Music Weekly or whatever. Yeah. And it's all the shit that he listens to that like was coming hardcore on. hardcore rap. Hardcore rap uh-huh. that was coming on. But I wasn't really paying attention to it. <laughs> yeah. I was playing Candy Crush on my other phone or cleaning. <laughs> yeah. So I was just playing in the background. He yeah. goes, are you like going through a midlife crisis? Like, could you see a sports car in the driveway? No, I'm not going through a midlife crisis. No, and no, I'm not going through a midlife crisis, even with the hairstyling thing. It's okay. I'm happy with what I'm doing. It's not a midlife crisis. Are you going to have resentment for us and secretly not, wish uh, we don't I have don't success have, the whole our whole life? No. Am I holding secretly, you back? Secretly, I said. No, there is no secret. No resentment. Not to, to my kids, no resentment. Yeah. Are you no, sure about that? No, I don't resent you guys. Yeah, but if you resent anybody who hindered you in making those decisions yeah. that you wanted but to I make, did, did I, do not, because <sighs> they are the sole reason that we are did. here today. But am I taking it out? Am I holding you guys back from what you guys want to do? No, but no, knowing so? that your mother no, is unhappy resent- with the way that her life went is very yeah, but sad. Then, then the mother, some mothers may have like said, no, you're not going. I didn't go. You're not going to go either. I know you're supportive, but yeah. it's st- I still know that this is not the life you want. No, I'm happy with what I'm doing. Like, I'm happy with what I'm doing, like my part-time, like mm-hmm. my tutoring. Like, I'm happy with that. I'm you're happy truly with- happy, or yeah, you're like just I'm- convincing yourself that no, you're happy. Stop I'm covering not- your mouth. I'm not settling. <laughs> Are you, though? <laughs> no. Sounds like you did. No, I'm actually happy with the couple of students that I have. Um, Even if you that were, I see change and whatever, like I'm, I'm really, yeah, I'm, I'm happy. If you that. were, settling, I wish I could take it to, like you actually destroyed me uh, I destroyed earlier, you? yeah, a few months ago or whatever it was when you said, um, just like quit your job and open up your own business. And why did like, I destroy you? <laughs> because that's supportive that advice. I, I know, but it's scary to do that, right? I'm more of a pusher than a doer. Oh my god, you're like, a hypocrite. Yeah, I am. <laughs> I am. Like my tweets are what I want for society to be and what I want it to be, but they're not a reflection. But you're not of, you. I know. Yeah. I have a question, though. Right? Even if you were settling, would you ever admit that to me? No, because I don't think so I would I'll never settle. Know. I would have, no, no. Would you admit? Would you be brutally yeah, honest? Yeah, I'd say, yeah, would I'm you? settling. Yeah. Good. No, I but I'm not settling. That. I'm happy with what I'm doing. Like, you know I'm happy with what I'm doing. I tell you that. 
you know, some of these How do I are, know you're happy? You come home and complain every day. No, I don't complain. Yeah, you do. I just whine. <laughs> whine, exactly. <laughs> no, I don't complain or whine. Listen, if this house was totally renovated, yeah, then I probably wouldn't complain. But when I come home to this, <laughs> that doesn't make me happy. Well, mom. You have control like over to, this, though. I know, but there's so... Like, you need to put the bins in the garage. You need yeah, to, I know, you know, do, do the them. declutter the it. space by yeah, doing those things. I never should have brought these damn things up here to begin with. They're heavy as shit, now. i got to take them down. They should have went straight into the garage, period. See, but those are things that you have control over. So if you really wanted to be less stressed and more happy... I just want it all done, and I, I have no problem working. Like, I have no problem working 8 to 8 or whatever. Mm-hmm. Like, I have no problem. I Working is... I'd rather be working than doing this shit. And when I get to the place of renovation, then I'm hiring a cleaning lady. I'm not cleaning this shit anymore. <laughs> so I'm going to come in and wash the dishes at least. Oh, my God. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, don't have to, I don't have time. Well, you know I don't have time. I and mean, why should I give up a Sunday doing this shit? I could just hire somebody to do it. Right? I don't know, because it's relaxing. Cleaning is relaxing? What's yeah. so relaxing about it? And then I go back to work on it Monday. It gives you peace of mind. No, but it's the only one day off that I have. But mom, you only had to sacrifice a couple. What? A couple Sundays to get it done. No, I know that. So what? Mom, did you not watch my video today on not giving into temporary satisfaction and sacrificing for the bigger picture? I've been cleaning forever. Somebody out there needs a job. <laughs> oh my God. I'm over it. Alrighty. Somebody could use 50 bucks. 50 bucks to do what? I don't know. Isn't it 50 bucks? cheap, mom. I know. Yeah, no one's going to do it for 50, unless they're just washing dishes. No, they got, no. They clean the bathrooms. Okay, then no. Hell no. I wouldn't clean the and bathrooms. Mop. No. I don't know. I don't even know what the going rate is. I don't know what the going rate is too either, but it sounds 50 bucks an hour, maybe. No, but I can hire somebody just to help me. Oh my god. You're like my sidekick. Mom, you know what? You're such a hypocrite in all aspects. <laughs> you really are because you would never do it for $50. What? For to go hang around with somebody. If somebody paid me 50 bucks to go hang out with them? No, 50 bucks to go clean their toilets. No, I wouldn't. Clean exactly. Them you wouldn't, but you no, want but the cheapest my... price possible. No, but I wouldn't go But that's not my thing is to go clean toilets. Oh my god, whatever. So you think people are destined to clean toilets, Mom? Some people don't mind. Some people like doing housework. They love it. I understand. Anyways. Right? I get it. I don't it. have time for it. Don't even look at that. Don't That's look mine. at what? Eat more. Oh, wow. I didn't even see that until you mentioned it. Good. I thought you'd notice the yellow book. I did not. I wasn't even looking over there. What were you looking at then? I was looking over here. I don't know. No. I was just looking in that general direction. Anyways. Okay. So this woman, mm-hmm. she's getting married. Yeah. And she banned all, she's vegan. Yeah. So she banned all of her meat eating murderer friends from the wedding and her family. What? Like anybody who eats meat is not invited to her, her wedding. Why? She's having a vegan wedding. So why can't they just eat vegan? I don't know. Why do they have to be banned? It's really stupid, isn't it? She banned them. Are they know. even friends with her in the first place? But even family members. Are they even family with her Dude, still the in the first place? The fact that they're eating meat. But I don't get it. Like, I don't know. She's demented. No, but like, what I don't remember I'm, the whole story. I just read. But the what title. I mean is like, and did I read the story? Why are you even story. friends and family with them? Yeah, friends and family. No, but how? Okay. How is it? How are you friends? A vegan. But do you know what I mean? How are you yeah. friends if you're like banning these people from your wedding for eating meat? Isn't it? Aren't you banning them for forever? Vegan, like why just from your wedding? Do you not? Just, do you yeah, see what I'm saying? A vegan bride reportedly and instead, banned all meat eating guests. From attending her wedding, including in the night. But this is... Okay, two things with that. One, banning them is not going to make them convert. What, is she some special Beyonce god who... Even if it was Beyonce, you think I'd give a shit? But listen, first of all, Beyonce's trying to get people to go vegan to get concert tickets and make people change. (laughs) Anyways, whatever. Is she some kind of, like, demigod that she is, uh, you know golden that these people oh, are like dying to get into her wedding do you know what i'm saying like yeah. why would people care okay fine i don't think she's a no she, I think she's and a nobody. then second second people love weddings and hate weddings hate them love the open bar hate them because they have to give tons of money 
away just like that for no, people man. getting married. Not all, not all weddings so are like that. So why? I was going to go to a wedding. Hold on. So why would people be not happy with going to a wedding when they need to get wedding gifts? They need to get an outfit. Know, they the, need to give the, money. She did a favor to all of them. I know. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, she did a favor to all of them. I don't understand. Mm. And and three, if you want to educate people on veganism, why not have them at your wedding and make it a freaking talk if that's what you want, yeah. if they are that passionate about vegan like mushroom life. You know, have a speech from the bride about vegan. The- it's your day. People are not going to complain that you're making a vegan speech. It's your day. They literally cannot complain. You know what I mean? I don't know who she invited. Anyways. Interesting. Maybe she wanted a smaller wedding. So she Just did that. Her and the groom. <laughs> Is the groom vegan? I guess so. I don't know. I mean, her. he has to be. There's her no either. way he can marry her if he's not. If he's she's banning all her. No, no. Yeah. Anyways, you were gonna go to this wedding. Oh, I was gonna go to this wedding, and then I asked some people like, "What do you give in an envelope? Because what do they give compared to what we give?" Yeah. And they're like twenty five dollars, fifty dollars, twenty five dollars. Like what don't you give a hundred bucks per person yeah and more actually is that just greek weddings european yeah, weddings european weddings a hundred and i think the going right now is like a hundred and fifty a person or some shit what the hell yeah guys if you're listening to us on youtube comment down below how much you give at a wedding and then also comment what ethnic background you are <laughs> so we know yeah because we're curious very curious because with that that I almost fell over. Twenty five bucks. Yeah. You could have saved a lot of money. I didn't put twenty five bucks. Put a hundred. No, I got cheap because I don't like them. <laughs> do you have to get them a gift too? If you give yeah. them money, do you get a gift or does the money supplement for the gift? No, you don't get both. You give one or the other. Oh, okay. Yeah, but people don't bring gifts. They bring envelopes. Why? Because most people have moved in together already, right? So they've already they already have all their stuff. Okay, so do I need to move in That's with somebody before getting married? Obviously. What? You don't need to, but if you want to, there's nothing wrong with that, too. Okay, how does it go? It doesn't go. It goes whatever way you want it. Would it be weird now to marry it... somebody without living with them first? Yes. That's the way it was. That's the way it used to be? Yes. It's so weird. How do you take that next step, you know? Like, get an apartment. Do you, okay, do you get an apartment, you leave your both single apartments and get one together under both of you, or does one move into the other? Whatever the agreement is. What's better? I don't know, but if you do give up your apartment and you move into the dude's apartment, then you better get your name on that lease, otherwise you're out. Oh, really? If anything ever happens. So it's better to leave single apartments and get a new, fresh new one. Or get your name on the lease. But then what happens if you break up? That's what I'm saying. If you break up, you get tossed out because their name is on the lease. Yeah, but so what? That's fine. Why wouldn't it be fine? You can't find your own? But what if you... Yeah, what if you can't find another apartment? You can. Yeah. Also, but I'm saying what At if you what break price? up and you're both on the lease? Oh, then I don't know. Then either you... You're going to have to come to an agreement anyways. Yeah, one of you is going to have to move out. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, so it's the same either way. The lease. Yeah. Just one is guaranteed somebody's going to get mm-hmm. booted and the other one is a debate. Mm-hmm. I don't know. But then how does... Okay, how does that go, right? Because moving in together is a huge step. Mm-hmm. And w- what do you do? Just like a trial period? Or do you only move in with someone when you know you're going to marry them? <laughs> how does this work, Mom? I don't necessarily know that you're going to marry them. But then why would you move in with somebody? Some people just rather, instead of going... It, let's say if you're dating someone, right? And they're yeah. spending like 50% of their time at your place. Yeah. Then what's the point of holding on to their place? Or you're spending 50% of your time at... Because it's only 50%. Or even more. Okay, let's say 90% or whatever. Okay. At their place. And you're thinking, shit, man, I'm paying rent, but I'm staying here 90% of the time. And then, like, you're already living together, just you still have your own places. Right. Right? And you have the freedom to go back and forth. Right. Yeah. Oh, my God. That's why people tend to move in together. I think you should absolutely move in together before you get married. Because what if you can't live together? Is that a deal breaker? Very true. But is that a deal breaker, Even though? Even go on vacation. But what if you love the person? for whatever reason. Like some people, um, background, cultural backgrounds or whatever, yeah. will not allow it, right? But maybe... Oh, come on. It's 2019. I know. But still. They still don't allow it. And even vacation, they would have to lie and say they're going away with their girlfriends. But I think even vacation's good. 
vacationing yeah i guess yeah, you can yeah but vacationing is still like it's not yeah, your house yeah. right after one week if you go for more than one week it starts to become real oh, okay no but i'm saying like a vacation spot is not your house no but still habits are still there yeah you think mm. so you think they come out after one week so you should go on a weeks. two week vacation. Yeah, two weeks. See if you can stay month in vacation. Two month vacation. <laughs> a month see if vacation. You can stay in the person after two weeks. Yeah. You'll know. I know. Right? Would you move in with someone? Yeah. So you think it's better to move in with someone before you get married? I think so. I think so too. I don't know. I don't. I haven't been in a relationship since high school and some people who do move <laughs> so in I together know. i don't know what adult relationships some people are never like. get married after they move in together they just what yeah oh oh never get married i thought you meant never move in together after they get married yeah i know no no never get married after they move yeah. in. i want to get married yeah i do want to get married you know what's crazy is that i fantasize about this stuff right Finding a lover, moving in together, getting married, living, growing old, whatever, building an empire. Mm -hmm. But I am turning 25 next month. Mm -hmm. And I just like, I cannot picture myself as a bride getting married. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, that doesn't seem real to me. Why? That seems like it's a, it's a movie thing. Oh. Do you know what I mean? No. You don't know what I mean? Because you've been a bride. I don't know how to explain the fact that I... Feel like I think you just overthink everything. Every like you put too much thought into everything. I'm not overthinking thing. it. I just no, can't. Seriously. I don't have that feeling no. like as a bride. You know what I mean? You're stupid, mom. You don't understand what I'm saying though. You're dumb, mom. Mom, you can't. You can't just say I'm dumb. Yeah. I'm telling you that I don't feel like I am. I want to be a bride, and I will be a bride. You know, mm -hmm. but I just don't like. I can't. I don't have that feeling. I can't picture myself up there getting married. I just, I don't know. It just doesn't seem real. You're not listening. I am listening. Then what are you doing? And I think you're dumb. Why? Because you It's not dumb. Thought. Like, why are you thinking of this already? Like, this is so stupid. Because Seriously. I have no other things to do but to think of my future. Mom... There's Kay? more important things to think about it. Like what? Uh, career. I think about my career simultaneously to my love life. <laughs> right? You spend too much time thinking about love life. No, I don't. Mom, I'm 25, okay? I have a biological time clock. Do not listen to Gary Vee. I have a biological... You just listen Gary to Vee's a man. His sperm will last forever. I'm a woman with fertile eggs that go bad after years, okay? Not true. J-Lo has What do you mean not 40. true? J-Lo had her kids at what? 38 or something? I don't know. Yeah. Well, we don't know how her kids... I don't... But I, that's the thing. I don't want to be 70 with a 30-year-old. I'm not going to be able to walk. Why? You, you was dumb. Was, Mom, dumb. turn that off. I am right now. I'm not dumb. Okay? <laughs> it's, it's real things to think about. I... Okay, listen. You have to understand where I'm coming from. Where are you First, coming from, Abby? Where are you coming from? You're 25 freaking years old. Where are you I'm coming from? I'm not 25 yet. You are falling into the trap of society's way of thinking. No, it's Abby's way of thinking. shit that I never taught you. <laughs> I didn't put these way. expectations on you. Have I ever it's said you should society. be married? It's not society. It's Abby. No, because you resent your marriage. You, got, you feel like you got married too young. You feel like you were pushed into it. So you have resentment for it, mom. Do you not understand? This is what we talked about at the beginning when you said you would rather travel the world and not have children. Okay? I didn't say I would not rather have yeah. children. Yeah! Yeah, you would have! Yeah, that's what that means! When you say you regret not oh having God. a hairstylist. That is lies. Mom, when Did you... I even say that, Evie? Why? <laughs> did I say that? Yeah. Did I you, say that? Yeah, you did. Did I say that? Yeah. Bullshit. You said I regret Bullshit. not traveling the world Shit. and going into a hairstyling career. Oh, wait. Hold on. Hold that thought. <laughs> Mm -hmm. <laughs> what are you looking for? I was wondering if there's a shovel out there. <laughs> what? For you to collect your bullshit. <laughs> That's the dumbest thing you've ever said. You're dumb. You're dumb. Where can they find us? 
on SoundCloud, oh, yeah. Apple Podcasts, and YouTube. Oh, Apple Podcasts. Did you save those first? No. Yep, Mom, you need to. Why? Because you put the text right over my face usually, and I need to put promote this podcast with that video. I can't even spell because I can't see. Okay, Mom, save it without writing anything on it. And what was the last one you said? SoundCloud. SoundCloud, YouTube, and Apple Podcasts. Guys, hear me out, okay? I've always wanted this, like, long-lasting love that start, that, like, I wanted to be with somebody for, like, five, seven, ten years before getting engaged to them, before getting married to them, and I'm now turning 25 next month. Oh, and I don't have any prospects even, Mom! Oh. I am so far from being married or oh being in a, or God, moving in from... Abby. Mom, I am so far from kissing a boy. Like, this doesn't... And I'm not getting any younger. I'm really not getting any younger. Mom, I need your freaking attention. Can you stop no. doing that? You're talking dumb shit. No, you're talking dumb shit. Talk to me, Mom! You're talking Mom. dumb shit. Seriously, put that shit away and talk to I mean, me. Mom, this conversation I'm serious, Mom. Is mom, dumb. put your phone away. Okay, I can't have a... Mom, if I wanted this podcast to be just me, I would have named it the Evie Y <laughs> Show, okay? Can you please <laughs> put it away? <laughs> Seriously. Stop yelling in the microphone. I'm not. Headphone users. I'm not yelling. You are yelling right now. Okay, Mom, can you stop? You're, um... You're... You're, like, fixated on stupid shit. Why is it stupid, though? Tell me. It is. Mom. Don't you think if so? I, no, I don't think so. Okay? You can't say, I want to get married. Stop Mom. It. I'm done. You can't say, I want to get married, and then sit on the couch and do nothing about it. You can't say, I want to get married, and have a cast <laughs> on your foot, and not be able to go out there and meet people either, you dumbass. <laughs> I know! So then what are you fixating on that shit for right now? (laughs) When you get yourself all better, physically, and you move back to New York, and then you can start going out again. Oh my god, the stupid shit you think about. Mom. What? (laughs) I I don't like the dating scene. I liked it. Better in high school when kids yeah, actually when texted people. each other all no. the time to get to know a person, you right. know? It wasn't all about just dating and then becoming an item and then not really knowing anything about the person. I prefer being best friends with somebody before getting romantically involved with them. Right. And that takes time and work that people don't want to do the time and work for. So I wish that I would meet somebody now because right. I can't meet them. Right. I can't be... Oh, you want to get to know I can't them. go don't on yell. dates. Talk normal. I'm talking! No. And I'm passionate about this, okay? I'm oozing passion right now because I wish that someone would just take the hours to just talk to me right. while I'm in the state, while right. I can offer nothing for them, yeah. get to know my mind, yeah. and then go out on dates and, you know, like, get to know me in a physical sense, like, in a physical being, you know what I mean? Right. Like, not just my mind and what goes on up there. Good luck. Yeah, I know! Mom? Your mind. I'm like traditional, but not traditional. Right. I just, I really want that long lasting relationship. And I think that the ingredients for that is complete honesty and trust, right? And how do you get that? By really building it, by knowing a lot about a person, their love language, how they work. In how they express and receive love, how you know are they introverted or extroverted, and how they react in social situations, and well, blah listen. blah blah, like really getting to know a person and how they think. You know, my thinking is warped in good and bad ways. Listen, and I just need someone what to I understand my mind. Go take courses, meet people. I don't want to take courses, meeting to meet people, mom. Okay, I just don't want to. I just don't want to meet somebody and then go straight into dating them. Right. You don't have I to. I want to get to know them. That is the dating culture out there. Oh, that's what everybody does. It's go on dates, you know? Yeah. Meet on Bumble. Go out on dates. After three dates, either sleep with the person or become get into a relationship with them. Do you know what I mean? Mm. Like, it sucks. But people won't take the time to spend all day talking to you, getting to know you. They won't put in that effort. 
That's a lot. It's exhausting. You see, you exhausted yourself. <laughs> I'm passionate. Also, <clears throat> another thing is that I don't want to. I so I want people to spend the time to to, to get to know my mind, right? But I don't want to put in that time. <laughs> no, no, let me finish. Okay. I don't want to put in that time to only kiss them later and find out that our kissing doesn't match. Right. Then I'm turned off completely. No matter how nice the mind is of this the person. Chemical chemistry. It has to be chemical, chemical as well. Chemistry. So I would like to run a kissing booth. <laughs> get all the guys that I'm interested in and that are interested in me. Right. Kiss. Close your eyes. Put one to the left, one to the right. Kissing matches. You, kissing doesn't. Oh my God. For all the kissing Please matches. Please comment below what you think of this. <laughs> then for all the people that kiss me and... um, Would you do this blindfolded? Why would I do it blindfolded? Hell because. no. Why would I? I said all the guys that I'm attracted to and that are attracted right. to me. Okay. Right? In yeah. the physical sense. Right. By looking at them. Right. Okay. And then have a kissing booth. Right. And then just sort them. <laughs> By, yes, we have kissing chemistry. <laughs> no, we do not have kissing chemistry. Guys, on the no does, chem- does that on, sound guys, like that on show? the non-kissing chemistry side, I would love to be friends with you. Guys, on the chemistry side, let's see how our minds are. You know, then get to know the person. Just get the kissing out right out the, uh, out the way. It's practical. <laughs> Why put all that time and energy into somebody? To only find out that no sparks are going to fly in the kiss. How about smell? Then you have to put all that time and energy into somebody else. But you even... Just to find out that there's no chemistry with that person either, kissing-wise. But you even said something else once. What did I say? You have a thing with voices, too. I do have a thing with voices. And smells. You. I like... I'm attracted to voices, even if the person is not that attractive. I'll find them more attractive if they have a cool voice. <laughs> yeah, I'm weird. I'm freaking weird. Oy. And you wonder why I'm still single. <laughs> Listen. What? For a 24-year-old, mm-hmm. I've had so much life experience mm-hmm. that not many people can match. True. Okay? Mm-hmm. So, when I connect with people... It's hard to connect with them Mm -hmm. on a deeper level, on a level where I don't feel smarter in a sense. So do you feel like you need to And I don't want to feel smarter in the relationship. I don't want to feel dumber. I want to feel equal. Equal. But if people can't connect with me on that deep of a level and like talking about love and relationships and life and Mm -hmm. stuff like that, Mm -hmm. if they can't connect with me and if they don't have their own opinions and, and they don't think about that... I can't, I can't connect with them. Mm. And most people aren't this deep because most people my age or four years, four to six years above me don't have this much life experience. I, I have like 60 years of life experience. 60? 60. 60? Mom, 80 year olds get cataracts and go blind. Yeah. Not even 60 year olds. Right. I have the physical body of an old woman, apparently. (laughs) And I've been through so much shit that people don't go through even in a lifetime. Some people never experience homelessness in the way. Not extreme homelessness, people. We're not talking about me begging for money or anything. But, you know, not having a roof over my head that I call my own home for a month in New York. Going blind four times in my life. You might not want to share that much information. What? People are going to think you're broken. Mom. Too much work. People who think I'm broken are not for me. No. There's and somebody out there for everybody. Also, do you believe that? Do yep. you really believe that? Yep. What if you never meet that person? Just got to keep looking. What? Maybe they're in What a... if you spend your whole life looking? Yeah. And you know. never meet them? That's why I'm they're saying. They're there. Where? There. Do you think that you can meet the right person at the wrong time? Yes. Or is the right person at the wrong time still the wrong person? Yes. Which one? Right person at the wrong time. 
Aren't they still the wrong person? Because it's still the wrong time. Right person, wrong time is still the wrong person. Could end up being the wrong person, but it's the wrong time. But so it's it still the happen. wrong person then. It's the wrong timing, so nothing can happen. Is there ever a right time? Well, don't you think that the right person is going to be the right person well, at the right what, time? Listen, the right person at the right time always is the right person. Is always the, the right, right person, person at the wrong at the time, right time. Is the wrong person. But if still. the person who who chooses that it's the right person at the wrong time, then it's the wrong person. Right? Do you understand? Like Tom Hanks mm-hmm. and Rita Wilson. Tom okay. Hanks was married. Yeah. He met Rita Wilson. Mm-hmm. They fell in love. So was that the right person the wrong time? Did he divorce his first wife? He ended up going back and saying, I'm sorry. I need to divorce you? So then, no, it was the right person at the right time. I know, but if he, if he How just... was it the wrong time? But if he had met Rita Wilson and didn't pursue her and go further and go back to his wife before he pursued her and go back to his wife and say, listen, it's just not working out. I'm not happy. I want a divorce. And then pursue Rita Wilson. Then it's the wrong person, the right person at the wrong time, which makes the wrong person. Wait, what? Tom <laughs> Hanks cheated on his wife? No, I just said he I'm went confused. to his wife first. Yeah. And they divorced. Okay, and then good. He pursued, That's the way you should do it. And then he pursued uh, okay, Rita great. Wilson. It's perfect. Right person, right? right time. So, but if he didn't pursue. Yeah. If he didn't go back to his wife and he had stayed with her. Mm-hmm. Right. Then it's the right person, the wrong time. Like they would have thought each other as the right person, the wrong time. But I, I can't be with you or I can't pursue her because I'm married. Because he doesn't want to give up marriage. It's That's a dumb ass thing. I don't want to give up marriage. I want to stay in this marriage because it's comfortable and I have history with this person. Or, but I'm not or, really fulfilled not... or happy or in love. Wah, wah, wah. Why, why okay, are you well, staying in the at... marriage for the wrong reasons? Yeah, but look at um, um, Smith. What's his first name? Will. Will Smith, too. Love with Jada Pinkett. He was not in love with his wife. He wasn't in love exactly. with his wife. Exactly. But he did. he did the right thing and no, didn't but, stay. No, no, you're wrong. What? He was going to stay. The wife left him. Left him. Well, he. Which allowed him to go after Jada after. Well, you know what? Okay. I say to Will he Smith. He was not going to he's ruin. He's an idiot then. But, but he was going to just stay in that marriage. Dumb. Because. Of the way his life was growing up. Dumb. And he didn't want that. God, universe intervened. Well, they did because then his wife left him. Yeah. And then he went Good. after Jada. Good. What right? an idiot. Teek for glava. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I'm saying. Right person, wrong time. Could it's equal, still the wrong person. It's still the wrong person because... Unless you do something about unless it. Unless you do something about it. Yeah. Right? Exactly. And then who, uh, there was because I think like that, that you need too. to trust... The events in your life. Like, everything yeah. happens for a reason. Yeah. So if you don't leave the person that you're with to be with the right person that you think you should be with, mm-hmm. then it, it's the wrong time. It's the wrong person. Right. Otherwise, it would have worked out. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, it's almost like a an ethereal thing. Mm-hmm. Like, a, some, like, out like, everything works out the way that, that it's supposed to type mm-hmm. of thing. So if your mind tells you to stay in the marriage instead of going to pursue that person, then it's the wrong person. Mm-hmm. Because something told you to stay, and that happened for a reason. Do you know what well, I mean? Like, Will but do you Smith. know what I mean, though? Will Smith was not gonna I know, break but do his you marriage what I'm for someone that he was in love with, but yet it worked out for him exactly. because then his wife broke exactly. up the marriage, and then he went after Jada. But that's what I'm saying. Like, right. even if you did something, but did you ever listen to her podcast? There, well, you remember watching like, their podcast together. Like, things are supposed to together. happen the way they're supposed to happen is what I'm saying. Mm-hmm. Whether you, like, whether you choose to leave, that's the way it's supposed to happen. Whether you choose to stay, right. that's the way it's, like, something yeah. told you to stay, something told you to leave. Right. Do you know what I mean? Yeah. Like, that's the way it's so supposed to happen. So in that case, it's the wrong person. Yeah. Right? Yeah. You think so? And there's many right people out there. Is there, though, yes. Mom? Yes, there is. Oh, Abby. my God. I feel like I've met everybody in the world, and I found nobody. <laughs> you haven't met anybody yet, Abby. <coughs> you oh haven't met anybody God. yet. Like I said, I wish people would take the time. I wish I could meet my future husband now, take the time to talk to me, to get to know me, have a friendship. Because that's all we can have right now is a friendship, right? And then 
turn that into a romantic relationship because then you have the friendship to fall back on Mm -hmm. when shit isn't working for you romantically and i'm not saying forever i'm just saying in fights or you know whatever it's still a friendship okay what do you think about um young married couples or first married couples whatever going to therapy right away right away when they have no issues yeah like how to deal with issues or like they're learning how to deal with issues learning how to deal communication without having issues i mean i think that's good on them because they're it's like taking a class yeah like taking classes yeah it's like communication class how to learn how to sew yeah exactly it's Mm -hmm. acting classes like how to communicate with your partner i mean you could read a book or you could go to a class you could go see a therapist I think that's good. But do you think that once the person has like a first disagreement or whatever and then there's little disagreements after that, should they go see someone right away? No. You don't think so? No. I think you should try and work it out yourselves Mm because that's what communication (coughs) is all about. And then I think if it's tearing you apart, I think then if you want to still be in it and it's not a huge deal breaker, Mm -hmm. I think that you should go... If that's what you guys want to do and you really can't work it out, you should have a mediator, mm-hmm. a third person. Yeah. But if it's something that you guys just need to sit down and talk about, then sit down and talk about it. Don't be stubborn. Don't be closed-minded. Sit down and freaking deal with the issue. And if if it, if you can't and you need and your guys are both stubborn in your ways, this person thinks this and doesn't want to change their mind and this person thinks this and doesn't want to change their mind and no one wants to compromise, then go to get a third opinion Mm -hmm. and unbiased Unbiased. mediator and then if shit can't be worked out either agree to disagree and never bring it up again or say bye bye hasta la vista baby it's not meant for you but i think that people give up too easily in in relationships these days well that's what i'm saying like a lot of people are starting to go to therapy now so do you yes i think think that therapy is great but i think it should be done Closer into the beginning after a few arguments here and there. But or that's what I'm saying. I think that's... Versus later. But mom, you won't need that if you, you really get to know the person. If you really get to know them, like you, like they're your sister or brother, you know, and you you know what triggers them, how they get mad, when they get angry, how does how is that expressed, you know? Mm-hmm. So that, and you don't take things personally... Because you know that this person expresses their anger by yelling, not because it's you. It's just that's how they express their anger, you know? This person expresses their anger by being passive-aggressive. You know, you need to know those things about this person so that you can get past your ego, get past your um, your personal feelings, and just deal with the issue at hand. I think people need to realize that when there's a problem, it's you and your partner against the problem, not you against your partner. And that's how people need to look at things. But too many people look at it as me against him instead of us Mm -hmm. against this Mm -hmm. thing, you know? That's a good way to look at it. And also, um, 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 what was I going to say? There was one more thing I was going to say. Oh, I think that, um, so yeah, I don't think that you'll need therapy if you, if people really got to know how a person's mind works, right? And how they work. But if you do not know your other person that well, then sure, therapy's great. But I don't think that you should go to therapy with another person to work on a relationship if something big happens in the relationship, like cheating. I don't think that should be an option at all. I yeah, really that's, don't that's think... Between I think couples, you should try so and get closure and then go your separate ways because there's issues there that I don't personally think can or should be fixed between the two. But that's your personal opinion. I other know. That's what I said. That. That's my opinion. Yeah, but other people can can fight through it. I get it. Yeah. And I and I do think that couples give up too easily. But I think that cheating is like a deal breaker for me. Deal breaker. Like no, I've never been in that type of relationship, and I've never had that happen to me. So I don't know how I would really react, but mm-hmm. I think that I would say. No, the problem is, is that love makes you dumb, it blinds you, and sometimes you love this person so much and you can't imagine a life without them, That's right. so you stay for those reasons, but you're not doing, you're not thinking about yourself. You're really not thinking about yourself, because 
what does yourself want? A half-assed, loving relationship that where the trust isn't there because it won't be there. It won't be like it was before, before it was tainted. Why are you looking at me like tilt your head sideways and looking at me like You're that? I'm not looking at you in any way. I just listen to what you have to say because I because I see a lot of people now in therapy like, um, what's it called? Big you know, um, actors and stuff, and they go for those reasons and how to get through them and how to Great, trust each other again. Great, but cheating again is and, no, no. I just don't think that you should put that on yourself. I think that that will make somebody insane. That'll make me insane. And I don't want to be that type of person. Kardashians, for example. Mm-hmm. Non-stop. Cheated on. I know. And they still stay. That's dumb. That's really dumb. And they have all the money in the world. They don't need this other person. Only one Kardashian. No, two. Courtney. And? And Chloe. Courtney got cheated on? Cheated on her all the time. Scott Disick cheated on her? Yes. Ah! Had I known that, I wouldn't be rooting for Scott Disick. (laughs) I like that guy until I know that. But saying that, in saying that, I think that in a relationship, whoever gets, if the cheating happens in a relationship, let's say, I don't think that the cheater should have a second chance with the person that they cheated on. I think that they can have a clean slate in a new relationship. But in that relationship, I think they should cut the ties and go figure their shit out. Because obviously they're not in love with that person or else you wouldn't have cheated. Three kids later. I really believe that. And, and she still wants to have a fourth with him. Yeah, but that's that's for different reasons. That's yeah, for all the still. kids to and have she the same dad. And Chloe and her decision in keeping Yeah, Tristan. I'm just saying, Mom. I'm just saying, okay? You cheat on that person? Fine. You made a mistake, a big one, okay? I... I think that you should go your separate ways and I think that you can, you know, better yourself, evolve as a person, go into another relationship and, you know, hopefully learn from your past mistakes. But I don't think that you should have a second chance with the person that you cheated on. I really don't think so. So you think Brad and Jennifer shouldn't have a second chance? No. Like 15, 20 years later, whatever it's been? I don't know about that because 15 to 20 years can really change you as a person depending on what you go through in your life. I was thinking about that. Um, Them two getting together. I think she would be bitter every time his kids came over knowing that she could have had kids with him. Oh, and that's who he cheated on with. Like she's looking right at Angelina Jolie. Do you know mm. what I mean? Yeah, no, I know. Yeah, no, I don't think that's good for but a person. I think that 15 but to 20, know. but listen, I think that 15 to 20 years is a long time to like get over it and realize maybe they were young and dumb at the time, right? Mm-hmm. However, I don't know if they had that love with that, if they didn't have that love with that person at that young age, I don't know if they can go back to that same person and have that same love. No, but they're different people now. And someone had yeah, said... I, know. I don't know how I feel about maybe it. Maybe they weren't ready for each other at that time. But maybe they're ready for each other now. I don't know. Right? Yeah. But I know that she has lost so much time because she's never had kids now. Right. So could she be holding on to that? Does she still want that? kids? I thought you said there's no biological clock. No, but I mean, could could she be holding on to that bitterness that she didn't have kids with him? Oh, I think I think that she she's not doing herself justice if she was holding on to that bitterness this whole time. Yeah, like I think it's her fault that she didn't have kids. It's not his fault. Okay, he cheated on you. Great, the relationship is over. Go out there and find another relationship. She Work did. on another relationship. She Have did. kids with that relationship then. That's your fault. That's your fault. I'm yeah. sorry. It's your fault. Yes, someone cheated on you and that's a shitty ass thing to do, right? However, you should love yourself and feel so secure about yourself to know that that's that person's issues. That's their business. That's none of your business. None of who you are. That has nothing to do with you. That has everything to do with them and what they're going through and their issues. That I think that basically you're drinking the poison poison and expecting the other person to die type of thing. Mm -hmm. It's like, why are you drinking poison and expecting the other person to die? Okay, that shitty ass thing happened to you. Are you going to let it break you and ruin the rest of your life and not give you what you want? Or are you going to put that chip on your shoulder and go uh 
out there and use that as motivation. Like listening to someone saying, and this where my thought came from is because someone said the ultimate revenge would be for Brad and uh, Jennifer to get back together. And I'm thinking, yeah, but and what then what? Her cheat on him? No, no, no. Just then that what? they got back together. Angelina got him, but then it didn't work out. They broke up, and now they got back together. Revenge right? is petty. But Why would you want to get together for revenge? I don't know, that was just some person's thing. Dumbass but, thing. But my thought was when they said that, I thought, yeah, but well, Jennifer Aniston really want to take him back and then have that bitterness of not having children when his children comes to visit. But every you know other what? That's not revenge. Shit. If Angelina Jolie doesn't give a shit about who Brad about. Don't brad anymore i don't think she gives a shit about exactly brad anymore. so doing something in spite of somebody else is still not no, that's just a good thing to that's do because opinion. that's still not helping you yeah. focus on your own life people that's just the opinion of some... i know it is i'm just i'm just giving an opinion on that opinion yeah. i'm saying it was a dumb stop opinion. doing things in spite of other people do things to better your life and for your own benefit focus on yourself i think they'll just be friends Good, they should. It'll be interesting if they do get back together, though. If they do. But I think Anyways. he's dating someone else. Whatever. Yep. I hope that I can find somebody that can handle my ambition and, like, strong sense of myself. You know? I like, think there should be more similarities than differences. I, think I know, every but every person I, should have their differences. Yeah, and their own like hobbies and shit like yeah. that. But I think there should be a lot more similarities within. So you don't believe opposites should absolutely attract? Absolutely not. You believe opposites don't last. Oh, they attract, I, but they don't last. Yeah, they don't last. So you think someone should have similar? Yes. Things to you. Yeah. Yeah, I, I agree with that. The similar the people who have things in common will last much longer than the yeah. opposites that attracted and then. Didn't last very I long. don't get what I don't get is why I'm so intimidating to guys. Like, they like the idea of me, and then when they get to know me and know I have these plans for my life and know that I'm very aware of who I am and very sure of myself, they get scared. Because you need to find somebody with the same ambition, that's all. Mm. you're in a positive mindset some people are still in negative mindsets they want everything that you want mm -hmm. but they can't see themselves having it okay and, and you should think i that same way too you no, actually no, no. don't think that no, you're it's as not... good as you are yes i have imposter but, syndrome but, all the time but verbally you come out being like, confident yes okay yes but no but mom when i say i can't imagine it like, let's say the wedding thing, right? Oh, I can't imagine me getting married. Mm -hmm. It's not that I can't foresee it for myself that right. I'm not going to get it. It's just that just thinking about it, like, it's so foreign to me. Yeah. I'm not I'm not saying that I can't imagine, like, oh, I'll never have it. I'll have it. I know that I will. I just, when I sit here and think about myself at my own wedding, I just, like, it's so, like, it's, like, it's almost like I can't imagine it. Like, oh, holy same. crap. Like, I can't imagine that. Okay. Like, that's crazy. So in a good tone. In a good tone. Not, not in a like, negative tone. Like, like, holy shit. Like, when I walk down the aisle, like, crazy. Like, I can't imagine that. Right. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. that's what I mean. Yeah. Okay. I can't imagine myself having a baby. Right. Not that I'm not going to. Uh -huh. I just, I can't imagine. Like, that's yeah. crazy type mm -hmm. of way. Okay, well, that's different Not like, not like... Oh, I'm confident, but I don't see myself getting it. Don't see myself achieving what right, I want to achieve. Right. Not that kind of, I oh, can't okay. imagine it. Like, I can't imagine it as in, like, it's so crazy. Like, that's such a, like, I know I'm going to grow old, but I can't imagine it. Do you know what I mean? Did we go over our time? No, 48 minutes. Oh, that's way over our time. No, our time is an hour. But anyways, let's just end it here. Guys, let us know what you think. This podcast is always a blur to me because I get so into it and I don't remember what we talked about. Do you remember what we talked about, Mom? Yep. Good. So you can write the recap then. Nope. All right, guys. Thanks for listening. Peace. Happy Sunday. And we'll see you next Sunday. Toodles. Go check out my new YouTube video at evy -E -V -I -E -W -H -Y on youtube bam 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 Bang. goodbye Bang. goodbye Bang. goodbye Bang.